now let's talk about question 13d which is caching so before we solve this one I want us to um, is for sketching uh, trig functions so the general principle or the general uh, formula which you need to know for trig is y is equal to a sine bx plus c plus d where a is the amplitude Okay. To find the amplitude, you get the absolute value in the modulus. So if it is negative, you get it as positive. The next thing you have to do is when you want to find the phase shift, phase shift is found by get what is in the brackets bx plus c bx plus c equality equal to 0 so for x so when you get bx plus c equality equal to 0 so for x that is your phase shift how do you find the period to find the period you say 2 pi divided by uh, the modulus of b b is a number in front of x that is now the period then there is also what we call vertical shift. Vertical shift is D. So D is our vertical shift. What does it mean when we say the phase shift or the vertical shift? Let me just give you the basic idea behind this. So if I have got my sketching, which is like this, let's say the graph is starting from zero going like that so let's say this point here is 1 and that is negative 1 that is 1 and that is negative 1 so let's say D in this case is uh, maybe 2 that is the vertical shift so if it is positive meaning the graph has to be shifted two units up upward what does it mean so if this is my two this is my three meaning from here the graph has to be shifted two units so i'll say from here i'll count i'll say this is one two meaning this graph now this graph now it has to start from this point and go all the way to two okay then it comes down now down from here you have to go two units down again one so you say one which is going to start from zero two is going to end on negative two negative one sorry meaning the graph has been shifted one unit up or two units up now what i mean there is um for example the question which we have here which is sketch two plus one over sine 2x plus 60 find the amplitude phase shift the period and hence sketch the graph so let me get rid of this to get to find the amplitude amplitude is the modulus of a so in this case the modulus of 1 over 2 which is just 1 over 2 like that the next thing the phase shift the phase shift get what is in the brackets equate it equal to 0 so for x 2x will be equal to 60 divided by 2 by 2 x is equal to 30 degrees what does it mean that's where the graph is going to start from if this is my 30 here the graph will start from there that is my phase shift the period how the graph can be stretched that is the period how do you find the period 2 pi over b b is a number in front of in front of 2 oh, in front of x sorry so in that case pi pi is 118 okay 
now initially the graph was supposed to end on 18 but because of phase shift it's not going to end there since they have used the the, uh, the degrees I'm going to use the degrees as well okay but in a case where they have used the land you have to leave it to be pi just like that so I'm going to change it to 180 because the angle which I have here it is in degrees the next thing which I have to do is when you have got the graph okay let me just put it here so X is equal to 30 degrees that's where the graph is going to start from so I'll have hmm, my graph like this okay now the amplitude get me right there the amplitude in this case is half okay so the vertical shift the graph is going to stand on what on two so I'll put two here so let me just say this is one this is one this is two this is three this is four since this is not going to reach the negative part I'll just leave it there one two three four my vertical shift is at two the graph is going in that case two is going to act as my zero so I'll put it there like that let's now put the period this is a period we have said this one eight so the PD the PD is 180 degrees the next thing what I'm going to do is uh, I need to find the so I have my my vertical shift in this case so I have got half as my amplitude meaning half can be somewhere here I'll put my half there just in between 3 and 2 again in between 1 and 2 is going to be half so at this point I'll have half even there I'll have half what does it mean where we have the vertical shift which is 2 going up it need to go half okay but before I do this let me first put the code the, the scale the graph has to start from x is equal to 30 degrees so I'll put I need to have five coordinates so I'll have the first one which is 30 here I'll put 30 so I'll keep on adding 30 until I have five scale okay so I'll say 30 plus 30 is 60 next is going to be 60 again I add this 30 which is going to be 90 again let's add 30 which is going to what which is going to be 120 again I add 120 plus 30 which is going to be 150 I'll end there I need just 5 the graph has to start from this point now since this part is positive the graph is going to open upward it's going to, to go like that okay it can only go like this if it is negative like the second part here so since I have got I have my coordinate now the next thing what I'm going to do is this is going to start from this point because that's where now the phase shift is now in case you don't understand the phase shift the phase shift is where the graph is going to start from so the graph has to start from here ending upward instead of it going very far it's going to end only now this is going to be 2.5 because it has to shift just in two units initially this graph was supposed to be like this if there was no two there then if this is the half negative half it was supposed to be like that but now the 0 0.2 act as 0 point so it will start from there okay it goes all the way to this point from there it has to cut it will cut here again it comes down here where there is uh, 1.5 and then it rests there like that so it will come like that
so that is my graph so this graph which I have is the graph of f of x is equal to 2 plus 1 over 2 sign open brackets 2x minus 6 like that as simple as that okay so that is it for the first part now if I go to part 2 if I go to part 2 I can clearly say that the amplitude now I'll just do go direct the amplitude is the the absolute value of negative 5 which is just 5 the phase shift we get what is in the square root or the brackets 45 is equal to 0 x will be equal to 45 that is my phase shift the period PD will be 2 pi divided by B B is a number in front of X in that case it's just 1 so it will be 2 pi 2 pi is 360 so the period in this case is 360 degrees because we have been given this in degrees that's why I have to put it in degrees as well the next thing we have to do is to sketch the vertical shift since we have not been asked but is 1 over 3 so I'll have my graph Let me just put it there. So what I'm going to have now is it's going to start from 45. So I'll say 45 plus 45 is 90. The next point will be 90. 90 plus C 45 is 135. My next point is 135. 135 plus 90 is uh, 180. Then the last point will be 180 plus 45 is 225. If I've not made a mistake there. 180 plus 45, 225, yes. Now the next thing what I'm going to do is I need to which point is going to act as zero. In that case, it's the vertical shift, which is 1 over 3. Where can we find 1 over 3? 1 over 3 is approximately 0 0.3333. So if this is 0, let's put 1 here. Okay. We put, let's do this. We put 1 there. 2, 3, 4, 5. So I can extend this a bit, just. It goes there. Let's put in another point to be 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the next thing what I'm going to do, even down part there, instead of it going all the way to negative, uh, I put 6 here. Okay. Down part here, I'm going to say... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's okay, I can end on 5. One thing we have to understand, so this is neg 1, neg 2, neg 3, neg 4, neg 5. One thing we have to understand here is that the 1 over 3 is close to 0. 1 over 3 is 0 0.33. I can put it here. It's not 0 0.5, so I can put not in between 0 and a one but just near zero which can be here so that point is going to act as my zero I'll put a dotted line that's my vertical shift like that the next thing the graph has to start from here but now this is negative there is a negative in front of five so it's going to open up like this because of that negative if that was positive like the first one it's going to be like that okay so it will open up so what I'm going to do is it will start from now on top here instead of it ending on 5 it has shifted 1 over 3 upward because it's positive it's going to end on 5.33 because we have said 1 over 3 is the same as 3 0 0.333 so it's going to end on 5.33 5.3 which is not in between 6 and 5 
but just closer to 5 it's going to end there somewhere there I can just put a dotted line just to to show me where it's going to end okay then here it's going to go up instead of it ending on negative 5 it has to be on what I have to say 5 minus 3 point so it's going to be 4.7 somewhere here it's going to end somewhere there not little on 5 but just closer to negative 5 so starting from this point okay starting from 45 there it has to come down so it comes in it comes here down okay again when it goes when it comes down there where there is 90 it has to uh, to pass that line passing that line again it has to reach there straight with 180 then it comes in back to the center so it will come like that it goes there then it passes okay although it's supposed to pass that line which is just okay then it goes there it comes in back to the center like that so this is my graph of f of x is equal to 1 over 3 minus 5 sine x minus 45 like that so that is what you need to know under sketching of sine now to understand more on sketching we also have some other videos under trig you just go on sketching trig you'll be able to see how to sketch even cos because for this one we are only we are only interested in sine because both question are requiring us to do a sine graph okay